All right then, so 11 different nations in one team. Let's see if we can get this to work and get the win as well. If you guys want safe, cheap and reliable FIFA 19 coins with 24 seven support and also 100% safe comfort trades, make sure you head over to mulefactory.com and also use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout to get yourself a cheeky 5% off any order you make on the site. Okay, the boys, so today we are back with a brand new video, and as you can tell by the title, we are using 11 different nations in a team in a game of foot champions. So basically, the plan of action for this video is obviously using 11 different nationalities in one team. Every single player in the team, and including the three subs on the bench, do have to be a different nation to each other, and we're going to try and get the best chemistry possible as well with this team, and hopefully it goes to plan. That is the... Aim. So yeah, obviously that means we can't use players like Pogba, Awa in the same team. We can only use one from France, one from England, etc. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I don't know why I'm trying to explain that. So yeah, basically, without further ado, let's now get into the team. Let's go pick the players and let's see what team we can come up with. Let's see what chemistry we can get. And let's see if we can also get the win with the team. I also forgot to mention that this was recorded last night at like 3, 4 a.m. So if I'm a little bit more quiet, it's because, you know, I'm being cautious at night time. But that's why, just to let you know. All right, so you guys know the drill. It's time to now head on to making the squad. All right, so going to create a new squad. We're just going to call it 11 Nations, just like that. Lovely jubbly. Now let's get into choosing the players and the formation for the team. All right, so in terms of formations, I think we're just going to get our good old friend once again, Siri, to pick a formation. So here we go then. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 30. A random number between 1 and 30 is 5. Okay, formation number 5. So obviously 442 is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the 5, 2, 1, 2. Okay. Interesting. Alright then, so 5, 2, 1, 2. And as we already obviously know, we can only use one player per nation. So this is going to be interesting. All right, so in terms of players, I'm going to look at my club first. So let's have a look. I've got my gold players here. Who, what normal gold players do I have? Okay, we've got team of the season, Edison. He could be my Brazilian player for this team. I'm just trying to think. Though. I want to get the best chemistry possible and have good players in it. That is the aim. All right, let's just go for team of the season, Edison in gold. That will do. Now on to our centre-backs. All right, so in terms of centre-backs, who do we have? Normal, bar, and tradable. We do have the likes of Harry Maguire. Don't really want him to be our English player, though, I don't think. We've got Ampadu, who could be an interesting one to use. Or we've got Jordan Lukaku in here as well if we then go to my untradeable center backs that i've already got in my club uh obviously we can't use Militao. we can use kimbembe we could use maldini actually i think maldini is definitely a good shout for one of our center backs he's definitely going to go in but yeah maldini is definitely in as a center back i don't know where i'm going to put him on the left right or whatever but we'll put him on the left for now all right so then another center back that we have obviously we can't use the likes of david Luiz because we've already got a brazilian i mean we could try and use jeremiah and just or how you pronounce his name or do we use john stones for a bit of chemistry maybe actually yeah john stones would work a treat because he's man city Links with Edison. However, that will take our English options away. But you know what? Let's just do it. Now on to our final centre back. Then, obviously, a last nation for centre backs. I'm thinking of maybe going for Ampadu or someone like that, keeping the chemistry up. So we'll go for Scream Ampadu in that final centre back role. Now on to our full backs. All right, so we're going to kick it off with our left wing backs. I don't think I have any left wing backs really in the club. So if we change that to our left back, my left back options are, these are my normal golds. Then on to the untradables. We do actually have Robinson, who could be a very, very good option. We have the likes of Furlan Mendy as well. We do actually have Benjamin Mendy in here. But I think, but I think as I'm not going to have pretty much any other Scottish player in this team, Timothy and Robertson's Robinson is the best option to go for here. So yeah, let's chuck him in. All right then, so on to the right back or the right wing back. Let's go to my right backs in my club. Who do I have? in the club. Okay, so on to untradables. We have the likes of Kimmich, Da Costa. We've got Milinkovic, Savage. Oh, we have my end of era, Antonio Valencia. Okay, okay. I think I might go for him. Yeah, I have literally barely used this card, so I want to go ahead and use Valencia. So we're going to chuck him in the right wing back role, like so. Now let's move on to the midfield. All right, midfield, midfield, midfield. I'm thinking of maybe switching John Stones over to the left, because that means that if we have Maldini in the middle, we can branch off more to another league or something, whilst, whilst keeping a decent amount of chemistry. However, on my right centre midfield, I'm thinking of a player that I've already got, that I know I've got, which is actually footies Paul Pogba. So he could definitely be one that I'm thinking of putting into this team. Then joining him on the left centre mid, who do I go for here? Someone that I haven't used a nation of already. Let me just see who I've got in my club. I'm going to go to my untradeable centre midfielders, or actually midfielders, I should change that to. We do actually have a lot of options here. We have the likes of Team in the Season Ericsson I could go for. Obviously, we can't use our. We could use uh, Flashback, Iniesta. We've got Bernardo Silva, Alaba, Milinkovic, Savage, Bran, 
Fred actually could be used as well. That's not a bad option to go for. Actually, wait, no, we can't use Fred. We've already got Edison. Yeah, ignore that. I'm thinking of maybe using Juan Mata, though, because that then gets a link with Pogba, and we haven't already used a Spanish player, so that could definitely be one. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go Juan Mata. So, now on to our cam. We've only really gone Premier League here, and I'm not going to lie. It's going to be quite hard to branch off now. I think in cam, we're going to go for um, Christian Eriksen, wherever he's at. I've literally barely used this card, and I do really want to use this card, and obviously, he's a different nationality to what we've already used, so he is going to be a uh, cam for this team. Okay, right. Now onto the strikers. All right, so taking a look at the strikers in my club. Sergio Aguero, I feel like it just has to be in this team because we've not used an Argentinian and he would just be an absolute boss. So I think we're going to have to go for Aguero as one of our strikers. Then join in Aguero to keep the chemistry up. We want another Premier League striker. We can't sadly use Rashford. And actually, I don't have many other untradeable Premier League strikers, which is actually kind of annoying. I mean, we have Firmino and Rashford who both cannot be used because we've already got an English player and a Brazilian player. I've got a couple of players in mind uh, to keep the chemistry up, but I think I'm going to go with a card that I've not used much at all this FIFA, and that is actually Hyung Min Son, and we're going to go for his 90-rated uh, striker card. Sadly, I actually can't afford this team in a season. So, yeah. Um, 90 rated striker son. Let me go pick one of them up. The 250 is the cheapest. So we're not going to go for that one, actually. Maybe this one. And we'll get that position changed. And there we go. All right. The starting 11 is completed. All right. So now it's time to go ahead and choose three subs for the team as well. Obviously, three players that have different nationalities. So going actually into my club, we're going to go to my special untradeables because they're literally the only cards I have in my club. So we do have the choice of using this Hazard. So I think he's definitely got to be one of my subs for this team. We could also use the likes of Salah, but I'm feeling maybe some more defensive plays in the likes of Malinkovic Savage. And then to top it off, who do we add in as well? I think I'm going to go with a card I have not tried yet, and that is the foot swap Wilfred Zaha. So there we go. There are our three subs that are obviously different nationalities to any players that are in the starting 11. So now it is time to get in a game with this team. Let's see what we can do. Obviously, the rest of the bench is going to be bronze benched, and yeah, let's get into it. All right, then, boys. So it looks like we have found ourselves in a opponent for the 11 nation team let's see what his team is going to be all right here it comes okay so he's literally got a basic team and he's used the loan cards i feel like we have to win this i mean the formation might not be on our side i've literally never used the 5-2-2-1 this year but let's just see what we could do and let's get into it Come on, 11 Nations. We've got this. All right, kickoff time. Let's do it. Come on, boys. All right. So some of these players, like I said, I've literally not used. And we'll have that foul. Blimey, now referee. Get him off. Here we go. Andy Robertson. Play this in the middle. Into Aguero. Now into Son. Son. Ah, oh, unlucky. Oh, what a challenge. we still got it, though, Pogba. Oh, what a challenge. No way. Play the ball through. Aguero. Oh, love this. Into Son. Son. Oh, come on. Son. You know you can finish. What are you doing? Into Son. Go on, Son. Son. This is it. This has got to be it. Son! Oh, my God. I cannot hit green times to save my life. And Son just didn't score that, obviously. Oh, come on. Ericsson's got a bit of space to work with here. Heal to heal this. Fake shot. Finesse. Ericsson. Oh, come on. How have I not scored? Here we go. Heal to heal again. Mata. No! How have we not scored all my days? Go on. Here we go. This is it. This is the chance. Aguero! Right. I think that's me done. I cannot finish to save my life. Into Ericsson. Ericsson, draw this cross. That's a ball. Aguero this time. Let's go. I don't know how many attempts it took to score, but we have finally scored. Lovely ball in there by Ericsson to Aguero to make it 1-0. Okay. It's now time to completely just destroy this guy and get a load of goals in and probably make him rage quit. Oh, I didn't mean to play that out of Valencia, but Son's in the middle. No, Aguero's in the middle. Aguero, he makes it too. He just make it too. Now we can actually finally score. Okay, love this. Let's get some more. All right, then, boys. So... That wraps up the first half. We are somehow only 2-0 up. With the amount of chances we had, I don't even know what to say. As you can see there, we had 10 shots to his 2, 4 on target to his 1. We definitely should have more than 2 goals, I'm not going to lie. But it's time to bring on our 3 subs at halftime. We're going to bring them all on as they're all different nations and, you know, get as many nations involved as possible. So obviously we've got Hazard, Milinkovic, Savage and Zaha. So Milinkovic, Savage is going to come on for Mata. We're going to bring Hazard on for Ericsson. And Zaha is going to come on for Hyun Min Son. Alright, into the second half we go. Here we go, second half. Let's do it. Nice. Play this. Love that. And again. 
on the overlap. Aguero hat trick. Let's go. That is what we needed. We do get ourselves another goal. I want at least like one more still. Not going to lie. But there we go. We are now 3 0 up. I mean, the game was already settled as soon as we got our first goal. But still, let's see now how many more goals we can get in the last like 20 minutes of the game. Yes. Aguero, go on. Is that Aguero or is that Hazard? I think that's Eden Hazard. We finally got another scorer. And we finally get ourselves another goal with the 11 Nation team. Yes. Okay. I am happy. All right. There we go. We managed to get the win. You love to see it. All right. So there is confirmation of the score, as you can see. Then if we also take a look at the overall game stats, you'll be able to see we had 15 shots to his six, nine on target to his three, 56% possession. I definitely think overall we should have scored more, but we just didn't. Like, my finishing was awful at the first half, but still, at least we came away with the win, and I suppose I will take it. So yeah, guys, as you saw there, we managed to win 4-0 in that game, and if you couldn't tell already, it was recorded on a different day because I am wearing different stuff. But yeah, we managed to win 4-0. Actually, pretty fun team to use. I mean, obviously, Aguero stood out up front, getting a hat-trick in there. It was brilliant. And uh, yeah, we won, which I'm happy about. I always love a win in these challenges. But yeah, boys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Let me know in the comments any challenges you guys would like to see for FIFA 20. I've got one more foot jumps challenge coming for you guys before FIFA 20 comes. So do not miss that. That'll be this weekend. That is the last one I've done because obviously champs is now over and I can't record anymore. However, there will still be other challenges with other people involved when we're doing teams versus teams. So don't don't miss them as well. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.